Woo wee, the sun is shining today. So I wanted to run a second test on that 13 watt briefcase Harbor Freight solar panel that I picked up. If you watched the first video, I tested it on our trip up north up to the Sawtooth Mountains where we have no water, no electricity hookups, and I just run my battery for uh, my CPAP machine. I wanted to see if I could charge it up so I could get beyond three days worth of power if we decided to take a longer trip where we're going with little to no hookups. Did charge it a little bit up there. I didn't have a whole lot of time. It rained out the whole weekend, but we did get some charge out of it and it was completely cloudy and we still got power coming in people, which was absolutely awesome. Even with it fully cloudy, two days of rain, I had two hours and it charged the battery a little bit. So that was really cool. But I got back home, it's beautiful, it's sunny. And I thought, hey, you know what? Let's do another test. Let's find out how well this solar panel works in full sun. We do have some clouds, you can maybe see that. The clouds are coming in front of the sun every now and then, but it's pulling in some power. I know it is, because the little blue light is blinking on it. That, that's how it lets you know that, yes, hey, I'm working. Got the battery plugged into it. I used up pretty much all the way down to zero on that. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. Sun is right up above us. Actually, I'll probably turn the panel just a little bit to, uh, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun is a little bit past uh, due south. But All right, so here we go with our test again here. See what our battery is starting at before we put the charger on there. So it's 12.15. That's about as low as you ever want to take a battery. So we're taking in about 14.35 volts again. And so now we'll put her on our battery here. And uh, we should be getting charged. If you watched our first video reviewing this Harbor Freight Thunderbolt Solar or Thunderbolt Magnum Solar, something like that, suitcase 13 watt solar panel. If you saw the first one, it was complete cloud cover. It had rained out for like two days and then we had like two hours of no rain and I tested it out then. So I've got it hooked up to the battery here and uh, we'll test everything out everything is working it's taking in a charge our sun is directly up above us there and uh, so hopefully we get a nice long day of sun and charge that battery all the way back up to full for free the little blue light is blinking you can see the cloud cover in the background so it's taking in power. I'm leaning it up against the battery rather than using the stands because they are kind of a nuisance in the background. But everything's hooked up. The charge controller says it's taking in charge, it's taking in electricity. And other than the $100 I spent on this unit, the electricity I'm taking in is pretty much free. So I don't know, that seems pretty awesome to me. Yeah, so we'll see how that does. We'll let it run here for, I don't know, five six hours probably about six six seven o'clock tonight maybe we'll come out and check see what the battery's at then hopefully we got a good charge on it will tell we'll see how it how it ends up panning out uh, for us and scampy but uh, yeah we're back at home for this video testing this stuff out but just so you know there's scampy in the background he's still here or she's still here I'm not sure no one named her it whatever we've got about a month actually until like three weeks two three weeks till we go on another trip so kind of a big another big break in there like we had in July All right, so it is seven-ish in the evening. We plugged this battery into our solar charger 
at about one o'clock this afternoon. So it's had about six hours to charge. We'll see how well it did. We started at 12.15 volts that were in there and we'll see where we're sitting now. So the sun is just behind the houses now, you can kind of see. But on the front of this here, we are still saying that we're taking in a charge. I won't test it to see what it's taking in right now, but from this position in our yard, this is about as long as we're gonna get sun for, considering it's over there. So let's see what we've got so here in the charger. The leads from the solar panel are unplugged. And we'll try to test and see here if I can reach it, what we've got. Ah. So we're up to 12.35. Remember we started at 12.15. So we're up to 12.35 after six hours of charging. So that's not too bad. We started the day at one o'clock this afternoon at 12.15 volts. We ended the day uh, after about six hours, maybe a little bit less than six hours in the sun. I moved the panel twice so I could kind of keep up with the sun and we ended with 12.35 volts. If you had a good 12 hour day, had I started it at eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning, I probably could have charged that battery all the way up from one night to another. I. I know I could maintain. For the first night, we went from about a battery of 12.78 down to about 12.53, something like that. So we could maintain. If we had sunny days or even cloudy days, we could probably maintain this battery night after night. So super exciting. I say it's worth the money. 100 bucks buys you the panel and that, that little regulator, charge regulator or charge controller, they call it a regulator, uh, from Harbor Freight. So if you got an extra hundred bucks and you're looking for a way to charge your stuff, I think that's a really good way. So hopefully this helped you out. Again, we're reviewing that Harbor Freight 13 watt briefcase uh, style solar panel. And so hopefully this video helped you guys out and uh, you can decide for yourself if it's something that is for you. Anyways, until next time guys, hit that subscribe button. If you're liking what you see, Thanks and God bless.